has cleared up for everyone to be honest but uh, and to be honest you can't really see it from the from the pictures in front of us but the, the turnout is really really good here in the grandstand well it's great to see the Ascals back in action here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium as we take a look at their last five results uh, hasn't been a, a nice run of form for the Ascals but they're looking to turn things around starting with this match and in preparation for AFC Asian Cup qualifying and World Cup qualifying 
as uh, for Nepal. They're coming in uh, rank 174. They do have some experienced players there on the squad. And uh, surely they will give uh, the Askels a test. Uh, it's been... Uh, it's been quite a uh, past few past few weeks, honestly, for the Askels with uh, the entry and uh, reintroduction of Coach Michael Weiss as uh, the the man in charge. Uh, take a look at the last five results: uh, four nil against uh, Coach Jordan, two nil against Kuwait, uh, two one against Indonesia, four nil against Thailand. So it's a four match uh, losing streak. But uh, again, hopes are high that uh, the Askels could come up with a result. As for Nepal, it's, uh, they won 2-1 against Lao, a draw against Bhutan, another win against Lao, and another win against Pakistan, and 3-1 against Bangladesh. So they're coming into this match, uh, four, no, five matches and beaten, Neil. And uh, we, we take a look at the starting lineups. Uh, it's uh, going to be uh, Carly De Morga, who's wearing the armband in place of my, my partner here, who's... Uh, <laughs> who will be in action in a few days. But uh, uh, talk about the starting lineup uh, we have here, Neil. I think it's, it's, it's definitely coach. Coach for us here has gone for experience. And you can tell that with the, the, the team with uh, not some inexperience, but some younger players as well. And it's actually really nice to see. I know that everyone wants to see the younger generation come through. But at the same time, you know, we need to win games. Like you've said, we haven't had a great uh, run of form, even though, to be honest, if you look at our opponents in comparison, with all due respect, we've had very high-ranked teams in comparison. Um, so now we're coming back to this level, and, you know, the team that I can see in front of me has a lot more experience, and obviously we have additions to come into the team. Um, but we have a big year ahead of us, a very big year, year ahead of us uh, in terms of the qualifiers coming up. And this is just the start of it. So I hope in front of the home supporters, um, we, can, we can really put on a show. Absolutely. We still have one more friendly against Chinese Taipei on the 19th. Uh, so all eyes uh, uh, on, on this squad in front of us, uh, Mike Ott, Sandra Reyes and Iskari Kakunen, Kinshiro Daniels lead, leading the line. OJ Porteria on the left and on the right, uh, Jesse Curran behind him, Martin Stoible, and the center back pairing right here is uh, Carly De Murga. It looks like it, Kevin Ingresso and uh, Daisuke Sato on the left. So, uh, quite an interesting uh, uh, combination here for Coach uh, Weiss. And uh, we see the returning Patrick Data as well. It's been four years. Since uh, Dato has uh, suited up for the team, uh, a lot of changes in his life. Much more experience now, Neil, your um, longtime teammate, Patrick Dato. Yeah, I mean, we, we, we trained with each other yesterday. We spoke in depth, and obviously he hasn't been a part of the team for a while now. Um, but like you said, looking at the team, looking at the team that, um, that trained yesterday and that went in, is going into this, this game today, uh, with Kevin sitting there just in front of Patrick and uh, alongside Carly de Merga. Um, he did a great job um, against Singapore, if you can remember. Um, against Singapore, he was, he was put into that position because of the sending off and, and us going down to 10 men. And I'm sure that Coach has seen that performance. Um, and with Armani not here with us at the moment, um, I think he's a great replacement uh, to play out the back and understanding of the game is obviously very, very good. It was Kari Kekkonen uh, sitting in front of that back four. And he has uh, a couple of creative players in front of him. And Mike Ott and uh, Sandro Reyes, who's uh, been uh, you know, doing well, playing well for Firth in uh, Germany. So he's come back and... Uh, has uh, lent his services to the Askels. Always uh, a proud moment for the young man to uh, suit up for the national team. And uh, Nepal has uh, Kiran Limbu uh, leading uh, them as the captain. He has 88 appearances for uh, the national team and uh, he plays his uh, club football in India. That's the goalkeeper, 88 caps in total. That's safely away. I think that's what we're going to see here today. I've just seen it there, as you can probably see yourselves, is that Nepal are sitting quite deep and, and, and looking to counter-attack us or try to jump onto loose balls. They are 
sitting fairly deep from what I'm seeing it and not pushing the line that high. And what we don't want to get trapped into, to be honest, is just keeping the ball around the back needlessly. We need to get the ball forward uh, and let Nepal start to make decisions. And how about the return of coach uh, Vice Neil? He was there in a, in a very interesting period for the Askels when uh, it was really, uh, the popularity was really high. We, we, we had a lot of people watching the matches. And he's come back, and it looks like he he's gained more experience. He's uh, had stints with Mongolia and Laos. Uh, and uh, right now, I think he's very familiar with a lot of the guys here. A lot of them, he actually gave their first caps, like, including uh, Patrick Reichelt, who's celebrating his 35th birthday today. Yeah, he's celebrating his birthday today. He's obviously sitting there on the bench, but what a... Uh, a player to come off the bench to be honest you look at the bench with him on it and it's very it's solid um, just looking at the game there disappointed that that Sato just got taken out of the off the ball there but we this is where we need to transition quickly I think I think Nepal are really going to push numbers forward against us uh, and set pieces but that's where I want us to really attack and, and not come back um, this diagonal ball needs to get us up the field and we need to jump onto second balls very very quickly um, but I think at the moment we're settled, but we need to just have a little bit more of an attacking threat. There's a stoppage here. As a Nepal player has gone down. And Jesse Curran in the right. Could be a good outlet for the Askos. Almost five minutes gone by. And uh, as we mentioned, uh, if you're in the area, you can uh, come over to the Rizal Memorial Stadium. This will be another thing that I think will happen. I think Nepal, obviously, away from home with a few good results. They'll want to uh, slow the game down early doors, slow the game down, play at their tempo. And that's another thing that we don't want to get trapped into. We want to play at our tempo, move the ball. Uh, and I just want to see the experienced players here start to, to add a little bit more pressure onto to Nepal, um, show that we're dominant, it's our home turf. Uh, and, you know, after the results that we've had recently, really stamp our authority um, and start start an attacking threat. And referee re getting ready to restart the action. It has been a while since the Askas uh, are were here. They last played um, last January against uh, Indonesia in the AFF Championships. Martin Stoible wasn't there as most of uh, the senior players. Nepal looking to advance the ball quickly here. A couple of players in the box. Yeah, it's nice for you to mention Martin there. He's been out of the squad for a while now and I'm glad that he's back in. He's had a great stint at Port um, in Thailand playing uh, on a regular basis and I think he deserved the call-up to be honest. And uh, speaking to, you know, even though I'm not playing, I've been tra training with the team and speaking to coach and the people involved. And I I've said to, uh, you know, openly, I've said to, to the management, we need to start having a more consistent squad uh, as much as we can. Absolutely. And here come the Askels right here, OJ Porteria. Oh, that's Sato slipping in Porteria. OJ with the cross, and that is a corner the first corner of the match for the philippines and you, you know you see the speed there in transition the porteria and that's what i want to see i want to see us going forward like that i mean i'm glad that we didn't turn back and play a safe option oj made a great run there he's made a run we played him in we've got something from it and and for me this is great this is now an opportunity for us to score rather than recycling the ball when we're in a threatening position Hot with the delivery into the box. It's cleared away by Nepal. That's handball. And a free kick here for the Askos. A lot of players right here trying to take responsibility. <laughs> Always fun uh, with that discussion right there. 
There's Kevin Ingreso, Mike Ott, Kenshiro Daniels, uh, Daisuke Sato, and, and even Sandro Reyes. I'm trying to think of the last one he scored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It looks like it's Kevin, or it could be a, a set play here. Uh, the bleachers are empty just because the, the rains really uh, made it difficult for some of the crowd to come over to Result Memorial. But here comes Kevin Ingresso. Ingresso. Oh! That couldn't have been far away. It's a great effort there from Kevin Ingresso. Just flashing right across goal. But a bright start here for the Ascals. And uh, you can hear the Ultras making themselves heard here in the grandstand. Porteria. Good control. Goes back to Ingresso. Pressure here from Nepal. De Murga. Dato. Ingresso. Pings the ball forward. OJ trying to win the ball back. And uh, Nepal will clear. Harley. Askel's losing out. That's Ajan Bista. Waits for teammates. That's Sanish Sretha. Ingresso clears the ball away. A speculative effort for Nepal. Goal kick for Patrick Dato. You see also you know, the idea of having Kevin Ingresso there. Neil is that you know he has a good delivery especially when you try to when there's pressure at midfield yeah I mean he's naturally a midfielder isn't he um, but to to see him playing at that position at center back it's nice it obviously shows uh, coaches trusting him uh, shows that we want to play out the back but not be silly about it you know he wants someone that's comfortable on the ball and Kevin is definitely that as he's shown many years um, in, in midfield Nepal wins the ball back that's a challenge from OJ Porteria free kick for Nepal let's see if they can test the Askel's defense so uh, most of these players that we have on the pitch coming off grueling seasons with their respective clubs. I know Neil had a really long season as well in England with Birmingham. It's nice for you to take a breather, yeah. take a break. It's nice to have a break. It's also, you know, you miss the game, especially when you're watching it from up here. You want to be involved as much as you can. Um, Here's the delivery. And that's uh, Ananta Tamang, who could not keep that ball in. So... Uh, Ball goes back to the Philippines. Sandro Curran trying to play a 1 2 with Reyes. Nepal win, him, win the ball back. And uh, Stoible safely into the Dato. I think that's something there. We, we can't make silly mistakes like this. Uh, giving the ball cheaply away in our own half. I think that's exactly what Nepal want. I mean, this is exactly now, exactly how we're playing through the lines. You know, you've got Mike there who's just gotten to the ball. OJ out wide. Can we get a delivery into the box? I think, you know, we're still in the transition stage. Coach has only had two, three training sessions with, with the team now. Um, you can see his style. I can see his style already that he doesn't want to mess around at the back, especially when you're playing on turf like this. Yeah. It's a little bit sticky. Uh, mistakes can happen um, for, for even the best um, but in positions like that I just want to see us load the box a little bit more to have a little bit of a, uh, more of an attacking threat and not just leave Kenshira Daniels by himself isolated uh, can we load the box with three or four more players yeah. and Curran asking for handball Nepal right there rushing on the attack 
Sato. Nasca is looking to settle into this match. There is space between the lines and uh, Mike Ott able to receive here. Trying to look for Sandra Reyes. A nice passing here for Nepal. Flag stays down. It's Ayush Chalan. Another opportunity and that was close from Arik Bista. I think Dato's played that very well because I think he's got a touch on it. But, um, but like I said, I mean, that's all, uh, for me at the moment, that's what Nepal have got and that's what they want to play. And, and if uh, we lose the ball in our own half like we did there, I think that we're going to play into their hands. We've got to get the ball higher up the field. Um, you know, we're playing four at the back. I can see um, Oscari just sitting there in front and Sandro's dropping deeper as well. I think we need to get more players up front. At the moment, we're just playing a little bit too safe for me. Reyes. Ingreso. Interesting here, Neil. Actually, I, I didn't notice it in the team sheet until he came out of the bench. Stefan Schrock is actually listed as one of the substitutes. Yeah, I saw that. I spoke to him <laughs> yesterday. Uh, I mean, to be honest, he's still got it. He's a very good player. We all know that. He's had a fantastic career. Uh, both in Europe and here in, in the Philippines. He's a fantastic player and obviously to see it there, um, he, he, can, he, can still, he can still make a big difference. If, if he was to come on for the last 15, 20 minutes, to be honest, he's a still a fantastic player. Um, probably hasn't got the legs he once used to, but he's still a very fit individual. And Asuka's trying to go through the middle there earlier. Nepal snuffing out the attack. It's 15 minutes gone by. A possession right now. I think favoring the Philippines. 63 37. Reyes. Kekkonen. Kuren. Goes back to Kekkonen. Asuka switching the ball from right to left. Here's Sato. Clean tackle there. It's a throw in for the Philippines. What? Goes back to Ingreso. Stoibler. Curran unable to control. Good idea there from uh, the Ascals. Mm, that's possession stats here. 63% for the Philippines. 37% for the visitors. Now obviously, you see the patterns already, Neil, on how, how the Ascals want to play. But the execution hasn't been there yet. Isn't there yet. No, it's not. I can see the style of football that uh, we're trying to play. Um, I can see that what we're trying to achieve, it needs to be a little bit more tempo, a little bit quicker on what we're trying to do. Um, and to be honest, you know, I'm impressed. You know, we've kept the ball well. Uh, I'd like to see a little more passes forward rather than constantly going back. But obviously, I understand we're trying to retain possession. Um, but, you know, it's, it's tough. It's always tough against a team like Nepal, like now, when they're sitting deep and they're not giving us too much space in behind. Um, they're only really letting their, their front three players uh, chase the ball down. As you can see now, you've got one there, number eight. And if we can break the lines now, see, we're breaking the lines there, but then we're going back and we're not going forward. Now they've got 11 players behind the ball. We really need to affect the team, uh, Nepal, when, when we can. Kekkonen. Stoibley on the right. Mike Ott. Current. Looking for more combinations, especially on that final third from the Ascals. Sato. 
Terrific opportunity here for the Ascals. That's punched away by Limbu. Stoibler. Ott. Mike. Taking too much time. Go back to Reyes. Ends up with Curran. With a cross. Not bad. But notice how there we've got three, four players into the box and we're causing them a lot more problems. And that's what I want to see, you know. Kinshiro Daniels there having the half opportunity, should I say. But we've got three, three or four players in the Go box. Go back there. to Reyes. See here. Ends up with Curran. Really asking with questions a cross. of this defense. You see Sato actually advancing right there, finding himself in the box. Supporting uh, Kenshiro Daniels. Stoible. That's it to Dato. Dato in a bind at the moment. And <laughs> they'll get that ball. Now, one thing's for sure this Nepal team, very scrappy, Neil, and they'll really seize their opportunity when it's presented to them yeah very energetic like i said before uh, the front three um will chase down everything by the looks of it they'll they'll chase any sort of lost cause um and they'll look to pounce on any sort of mistake or half mistake um that we make at the back right there you know we got away with it a little bit there to be honest um but we don't want them to grow into the game. You know, there's 20 minutes played now, just short of 20 minutes played. And you can see now, if you look at the, the full picture, we can see it here at Rizal Memorial Stadium. They're starting to, to put a lot more players forward. Um, they've got four on the top line and they're, they're starting, starting to miss out the midfield. De Morga, another ball hopelessly going away from Nepal. Ingreso. Sato. Looking to link up with uh, Reyes. Curran is, is in plenty of space here. Uh, but Stoibli plays it back to uh, Kevin Ingreso. Criteria. OJ. Stoibli. There are opportunities to drive that ball forward. The Ascals trying to be patient and they lose the ball here. The Lock and Limbo. And Nepal quickly with uh, players in support. And uh, Ascals giving up a foul. And as soon as they win the ball back, always numbers for Nepal. Free kick from a similar distance earlier. Players in the box for Nepal. So Rohit Chan right there, one of the more experienced players. Days is uh, club football with uh, Persik Kadiri. Here comes the delivery. Into the box. Danger for the Askels, and it's a goal kick. It's actually, uh, in terms of size, you know, it's actually a, a pretty tall Nepal team, and not like the way we used to seeing uh, in the past. Yeah, they're definitely a larger team now. And um, you can see, you know, like I said from the start, they're looking to, to counter-attack a little bit, a little bit more, and use the set pieces more. Here's Curran. Jesse to the byline. He goes. An opportunity. That's cleared away. Great defending there by the visitors. Nepal with four players forward. In the box, Stoible. 
Masco's trying to clear. And Nepal looking very dangerous on the counter attack. Kurwat. Getting too casual with that ball. And that is an ambitious effort. So the, the Askels, actually the visitors, showing us the threat that they possess. Correct. Kekkonen. I don't see the Askels getting very comfortable, especially on the counter of Nepal. Yeah, I think, you know, with the, the, you can see they've got a little bit of pace up front. They, um, they're going to cause us problems, you know, if we leave ourselves exposed. Second balls like that, great ball in from Jesse Curran there. But we didn't ring the box. They get onto the second balls uh, and they break and, and they counter very quickly. And that's obviously a strength of theirs. You can tell that they've been working on it as well, Nepal. Uh, and it's something that we need to really watch out because if we leave ourselves exposed like that again, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Jesse, back to Martin. Kevin. Good ball to Kinshiro. Trying to set up Ott. Good intention there by Kinshiro Daniels. But uh, Mike Ott just unable to get on the end of that ball. Nanta Tamang, one of the more uh, experienced players for Nepal. Already 51 appearances for the national team. Only 25 years old as well. Nepal looking for a way through. Go back. Lacking options right now. Go all the way back to Limbo. Rohit Chan. Nice flick on there. Ingresso will deal with this. Data with a clearance. Flag is up on Kinshiro Daniels. <coughs> 25 minutes gone by, nil-nil at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Checking it. You can see Coach Vice down there where we can. You can't see this on the, on the screen, but he's uh, shouting for... For the players to pass forward you know i think it's all well and good saying apologies but we're in a friendly game here at home and we we should be comfortable enough to be starting to pass the ball forward there um, rather than playing completely safe and it's when we get too cautious that's i think where we make mis make mistakes we're prone to make mistakes if we get too cautious as well neil 100 percent. i think you know a lot of teams do we definitely are um we definitely do. I mean, like, pass like this causes them problems, you know. We get something from here. Okay, it goes out for a goal kick. We shielded the ball out very well. But at least we're asking the questions. I think when we just keep the ball um, sometimes aimlessly, um, I know you've got to move teams around. I know you've got to keep possession. I understand that. Um, but if you keep the ball, it only takes a small lapse of concentration. And, and all of a sudden, you could be finding yourself facing your own goal. Um, with the speed that Nepal have got, it will cause us problems. And just like this, here's OJ. Nice link up play with Sato. Nepal trying to deal with the trouble. We're sitting deep now. Let's see here, Stoibler trying to create an angle for a pass to the area. And three shots for the Philippines, four for Nepal. Reyes, oh, was looking Great for OJ's run. 
great opportunity. OJ just made a run into the middle, actually, and Sato's looking for it. But here's another crossing opportunity for Sato. Right foot. And here you see a team just trying to trying to learn to play together once again. Because <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah, and I think we touched on it earlier in the in the show, is that you know we've had a, a lot of mixed squads over the, the year, uh, maybe 18 months. Uh, a lot of chops and changes, which it's, it's never easy. You know, it's not easy at club level, let alone international football, when you're, you're only together for a short period of time. Um, so to keep the squad as, as, as more as close together as possible, it would be better. And that's a push and a foul. And quick shout out to our uh, friends uh, with uh, the Philippine women's national team right now in training camp in Australia. They're watching. Doc Janice Espino de Vera and our, our team coordinator, uh, Belay uh, Fernando de la Cruz. Uh, hard at work in preparation for the FIFA Women's World Cup. I'm glad you're supporting uh, the team by watching uh, this friendly on the live stream as well. And that's a throw in for the Philippines. You're, you're, we're looking for, for some sort of tempo here, Neil, with yeah. uh, the with the Ascals right now. It's slightly flat in parts, apart from here. This is where we need to look forward. OJ yeah. looks very sharp at the moment. Can Shiro inside the box? And I tell you what, it's not a bad opportunity. Not a bad opportunity at all. And that's where we lift the tempo. As you can see, when we lift the tempo, when we start to, to play faster football, Nepal are unable to deal with us. That's true. Philippine women's national team the Filipinas watching Haley Long hard at work in Sydney here comes Mike Ott driving forward Ott to Reyes just unable it, to control Mikey oh what a chance it's an opportunity gone missing that one Send them. a little bit more composure hit the target and, and then I think that hits the back of the net and you see when, when, when the tempo is up when the intensity is up it makes a world of difference. Yeah, and, and I think that's what we were speaking about earlier. Um, I know I was, is, is that it's, it's, you know, of course there are times to play fast and there's time to slow the game down. But when we do lift the tempo, you know, we've had two chances in the last, you know, four minutes. Um, just from, from playing the ball a little bit faster um, and moving it quicker. And, and I can see that coach is a lot more happier now that we're starting to do that in dangerous areas. For Terrier. They're all hit Chan trying to deal with this. Curran. Jesse. Early ball to Mike Ott. Sandra Reyes trying to get on the end of that uh, second ball, but. Ball goes away for another throw in for the Ascals. Here's Demurga. Sato, a nice ball. Great ball. To Ott. Maybe a cross. Maybe looking for a cross there. Trying to cut the ball back. That's great defending. Very good defending there. Solid from Kevin. Kuran just unable to link up with Kinshiro Daniels. And you see Kinshiro was asking the ball to his left foot right there. <laughs> Yeah, what I like there, to be honest, the defensive side, I don't know if we're going to play it again, but Carly's pushed out into the midfield, leaving three and one at the back, which for me is very comfortable. And then when the ball gets lifted, you know, Kevin Ingresso comes through, wins his header. Then we're actually back on the attack again with Jesse Curran out wide, trying to thread a ball, maybe a little bit more quality needed there, to be honest. Bit of a stoppage in play here. Carly deals with that. Sandro back to Martin. 
ingreso. De Murga. Mike Ott has been having a lot of joy on that final third in the last few minutes. Daniels can't see the support there, but uh, they do get a throw in. In a good position here. Curran. Right. Jesse. Corona. All the way to the byline, ooh. but end line rather, but uh, ooh. It's a goal kick. It's a goal kick. We have started to lift the tempo a little bit in the last, you know, 10 minutes, and I feel we've, we've looked a little bit better. I still want and expect a little bit more from us, a little bit more quality in the final third, just to create a few more opportunities. You know, I think you just said it there. You know, they've actually had more attempts on goal than we have, which yeah. is slightly disappointing with all the possession that we've had. And, and, you know, we've got to make that possession count and we've got to also make, you know, our, our openings into the fight, their final third count. Nepal on the attack. A flag. Oh, flag stays down for Nepal. And uh, Martin Storbler able to deal with that, but it's a corner. Askels need to. Oh, referee's overruled it. Yeah, probably the right decision. They played out of the back quickly here. Jakunen, <laughs> ingreso. I can see uh, coach shouting yeah. down on the sideline. He wants the ball to move, to be moved a lot quicker than it currently is, which is he's right to be honest. Kinshiro looking for support. It's with Sato. Defensive header right there. De Morga with a strike from long range. I don't think he had any right to hit that one, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a shot on target, and I'll take it. And they do get a corner, the Askos. Hit it cleanly, actually, and it looks like we'll, we're going to have a couple of early subs here. Kiki Linares and uh, uh, the birthday boy, Patrick Reichelt, are coming in. The delivery to the area. Slightly over here. Yeah, we're going to make some changes, aren't we? early into the game yeah, it's going to be interesting Nepal player going down I I heard Nepal did not train yesterday they arrived the other day so Kekunen has been uh, subbed off it looks like it's going to be uh, Linares who's coming in and it certainly looks like that Kevin Ingress is going to play the number six, like just in front of the back four. And Patrick Reichelt will be playing on the wing with uh, replacing uh, Jesse Curran. And just a. Uh, change here to uh, reinvigorate that uh, attack for the Askas. Looks like it's actually Martin Stoible who has uh, been uh, subbed off rather than Jesse Curran. So Curran playing at right back and uh, Kiki Reichelt just in front of him. It looks like we've kept the same formation. Yeah. Keeping the four at the back, two sitters, Kevin, Sandro in front. Patrick Reichel 
has given us the width along with OJ. Yeah, and also, like, a threat with those uh, crosses from the left with uh, Iki, uh, who has been uh, it's good in the air, very athletic. He has scored a handful of uh, headers for the uh, national team. Yeah, I think with um, Patrick Reichel, should I say, is um, he's very versatile. You know, he can play in many different positions. You know, he's come on here uh, attacking, you know, right wing. Uh, but he can easily go up front as a, as a number nine, uh, replace Kenshiro Daniels. So, and if he wanted to go two up front, then he's got the, the choice of Kenshiro and Patrick Reichel playing up front. Yeah. You know, OJ goes down, but the ball goes back to Nepal. An interesting uh, first half for the Askels. We did see some flashes of good play. Linares, Sato. Porteria goes back to Linares. Carly. Sandro. Quickly to Reichel. That ball bouncing off the defender and the clearance. I don't mind that ball, to be honest. Looking to play in behind, and you've got there, you've got Patrick Reichel on the shoulder of the right, off the left, off the left back. Um, something that probably Jesse wasn't doing. He's more of a natural right back, um, and that's why I was probably you can't see my actions. But I wanted Jesse to get higher, which you can see now. We're playing three up top, and you're seeing OJ on the back line along with Patrick Reichel, who's now running in behind. A great run from Patrick Reichel. And the ball just ball, behind. Yeah, the ball bit, but behind there. So we're starting to, to play a little bit higher now, which is kind of what I want. And I think I can see here, uh, just to the left of the screen, um, Kevin Ingresso is, is, is demanding and dictating in the middle of the pitch, which I think is, is needed. And that's off. The ask us another throw in. Ingresso trying to find OJ. Sandro wins it back for the Ascals. Reyes Ott in the middle. Good play to Reichel. Cross was blocked. Reichel got hit in the eye. He stayed down as well. He stayed down and. Stayed down, which is the and Roy trying to, yeah, it was nice. a clash of heads actually. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't look good. Which is uh very extremely disappointing because I think the, since since we've made the changes actually I think we've looked a lot more attacking. Yeah. To be honest. You know, I think Patrick Rice was playing on the on that that last man, the left, their left, left back. OJ's going on to their right back. Ken Shiro's leading the line right in the middle there. We're leaving three on their back line, three against four. Starting to spread the game a lot more. And when we move the ball quickly like we did out there, maybe the execution of the, the cross from Patrick Reichel wasn't the best. But moving it and getting one-on-one -on -one into that area is only a positive. Patrick getting uh, medical attention at the moment. Accidental clash of heads with uh, the defender, Bimal Pandey. Coach Weiss, team manager Dan Palami there. He's still getting uh, attention. Mm. 
closing in that first half uh, injury time here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium. Looks like Harvey Galloso is coming in. Kaya FC Iloilo winger all set to replace Patrick Reichelt. He cannot continue. Harvey, a standout from uh, Ateneo de Manila University as well. Philippines playing with 10 men at the moment. As a, a sub is being prepared. Koran with the interception. Jesse. Finds OJ. Ingreso. Current. Mike Ott. The pass sitting deep now. Sato. Reyes. Great ball. Ott. Wasted opportunity there for the Ascals. And uh, in comes Harvey Galloso. Uh, in place of uh, Patrick Reichel, who cannot continue. Uh, so three subs in the first half for the Philippines. Linares. Actually, uh, full credit to Nepal, Neil. Actually, quite impressed with the way they've been playing here. Yeah, they look, they've got, they look like they've got energy. They look like they will chase the ball down. They will see interesting how the game goes on. I think as the game goes on now, their, their players are slowly coming back. Their three strikers have actually just come back into to, yeah. to their own half. And that's what I'm saying. I think we need to, to look forward more rather than recycling the ball. Like I said, now, look, they've got 11 players behind the ball and it's going to be hard for us to break them down. They're sitting right on the edge of the 18-yard the box. Um, and our defenders are, are well into their half. And two minutes added on in the first half. Ingreso. Curran. With a lot of space. Reyes. Reyes taking a shot. It's blocked. All right, Askel's looking to recycle here. They're looking for movement here as well from the Askel, especially at up front. Galloso. Lovely run. Galloso nice. with a curling effort. That's nice. We put, created an overload there on their left hand side, our right hand side. You know, 2v1, Grosso comes inside on his left foot there, gets a shot off. You know, I think that's what we need more of. You know, I don't think we've been Gallosso. that dominant trying to get across. Lovely run, Gallosso with a curling yeah. effort. You know, is but in there by himself, but cutting in off the wing, creating opportunities. And we don't have, have that size that we usually have up, up front as well. Gallosso. Reyes losing out. And Jan Bista on the right against Sato. Lovely play here from Nepal, able to keep the ball. Into the area. That's an opportunity. Gone begging for Nepal. Halftime whistle any second now. De Murga. One final opportunity for the Philippines. Sato. Reyes. Looking for, looking for the run of OJ. Got stopped for a bit. And uh, that's it. Nil-nil at the break. 
Askel is unable to break down this sturdy Nepalese defense. The visitors looking dangerous on the counterattack. But the Askel is growing into the game as the half wore on. It should be an interesting second half coming up. We'll be right back here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium.
Back at the Rizal Memorial Stadium for the second half of this FIFA international friendly between the Philippines and Nepal. Nil-nil at the break, although the Askels did have uh, a few opportunities in that first half. Visitors staying strong defensively and did threaten particularly on the counterattack. Right here, that was an opportunity from Arik Bista. On the other end, Askels trying to get that ball into the penalty box. And right here, Patrick Tato. Opportunity for Kenshiro Daniels. OJ Porteria on with the cross. Carly De Morga also had a, a long range effort earlier. And Mike Ott, probably the best opportunity of that first half, Neil that uh, chance from Mike Ott on the volley right here. Yeah, he snapped at it a little bit. Um, probably could have let it come down a little bit more. But when we moved the ball, as you can see, into dangerous positions, I don't think that the Nepal defense is, is too strong. I feel like we just need to test it a little bit more. And uh, Patrick Reischel right there has actually had to be subbed out of the match. Yeah, just few minutes after coming in and Harvey Gayoso cutting in from the right for unleashing the left footed effort straight at the keeper Kiran Limbo and we begin the second half no change uh, for the Askas they did have three changes in that first half Linares uh, De Murga at the back Together with Sato and uh, Jesse Curran. Ingreso and uh, Reyes and Mike Ott at midfield. Reyes. Back to Linares. Sandro. Good ball to Porteria. We're starting to move the ball with a bit more speed now, and you can tell that Nepal are slightly wary of that, and they've, they're starting to put numbers behind the ball. And I think that's a good idea, you know? I think uh, it's gone out of play there, but to try and get Mike Ott in behind their defense is something that we need to try to do a little bit more often than we did in the first half. Nepal looking to play their way out of the back. Sato able to deal with it. No free kick there. Linares trying to find Gayoso quickly here. Harvey gives the ball away. Ball back to with Nepal. And pressure pays off for the Philippines and they get a throw in. Murga. Linares. To Dato. A lot of space now for the Askels here. Great ball in behind. Pinchero's in there. Daniels. Unable to get a good touch on that ball but they do force a corner here I think it's a very good ball from Sato he's recognised that the space is in behind Kanshira Daniels and both OJ running in behind willingly and it's obviously got us a corner here which we can hopefully make something of Ott with a delivery into the area Solid goalkeeping. Oh, again, into the area. That's headed away. Porteria. All the way back to Jesse Curran. Curran. Searching ball for OJ. And that's a corner. 
That's a corner. And this is what I want to see, a little bit more added pressure, you know. It's a bit of a lofted ball there from Jesse Curran into their half. OJ definitely not the favourite to, to win that ball. But with putting pressure on their defence, you know, getting corners, second balls, throw-ins, we're creating the pressure, we're creating momentum now. Two corners in the last couple of minutes for us is, is fantastic. And we've started the second half a lot more brightly. And Jan Bista has been booked. Another header here. Goalkeeper off his line and that's in. The Philippines take the lead. It's Harvey Gayoso who claims the goal 1-0. And I'm very happy for him. Very, very happy for him. And to be honest, he deserved it. He trained really well in the last cap. And he has today as well. He's deserved it. He's come off the bench. Uh, had a little word with him at half time to keep going and he's uh, he's definitely deserved his goal a little bit scrappy but we'll take it and and it's exactly what I was saying Sadel exactly what I was saying Sadel we're creating the pressure you know it may not be the you know the best goal in the world but we've created pressure over the last couple of minutes since the start of the second half we've got willing runners we've put the ball in behind we've got two corners and and you know for us that's how we've got to play you know, I think it's going to be hard for us to break teams down who are sitting so deeply. So it's a goal from a corner now. Um, but this is where now I would like to see our reaction. You know, I don't want us to take our foot off the pedal. I want us to keep going in the same direction and obviously look to score more goals. And Gayoso already lost his balance there and, and did ever so well to get a touch, get some power on that shot even without his you know, with, he, he had his uh, he was on the floor already Neil a great persistence there from uh, Harvey Gayoso yeah it's a shame it's a massive shame for the it's a massive shame for the goalkeeper there he's come out he's been extremely dominant throughout the first half and parts of the second half the first corner of the second half and he's unfortunately mistimed that one and it's just dropped fortunately uh, to a white shirt to Goyoza and we've been able to put it into the back of the net like I said scrappy or not you know we'll take it we're 1-0 up and this will be interesting now like I said how we move forward it's not like the Ascals did not deserve that goal they've been knocking on the door since the first half Porteria will get the interception Just could not complete that a little bit more energy from us yeah you know a little bit more energy from us creating a little bit more pressure here's Curran nice flick to Ott another corner that's, that's another, another corner. corner and and once again like I said we're starting to move the ball forward we're playing with a little bit more energy a little bit more freedom and and, it's, and, and people's personalities are starting to show now there were a few words said in the dressing room at half time which I think really helped everyone moving forward and you can show from the second half there's six minutes played now three corners one goal uh, and we really start to look like the dominant team even when they clear the ball there Jesse Curran stepping out of his position winning the first ball taking the ball driving it forward looking for a pass it's a lot better from, from the Asgals and Asgals with playing with a spring in their step here in the, in the second half another corner Mike Ott here it comes. Good control by Sandro. I'm trying to put that back in the mixer. Too, too heavy of a ball there for Sandro Reyes. I mean, in fairness to Nepal, they're adamant about playing out the back. They've got a style of football and they want to do it. Nango Sato and it's another foul on Sato I think he's given it the other way yeah slightly surprising but you know, the signs were all there for us to see you know, the way the second half started crowd begging for one more All of a sudden, the noise levels at Rizal Memorial Stadium ramped up. 
Another delivery to the area. Safe hands. Patrick Dato. Looking for willing runners there, Neil. Yeah. And, and as a goalkeeper, <laughs> that's usually a source of frustration for you when you look up and there's an opportunity for you to, uh, you know, deliver a ball. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've definitely looked to do that, you know, previously and it hasn't worked. But I feel like today we've got the willing runners. We've got a little bit more energy now. You know, we're starting to put a little bit more pressure on them. Uh, you know, the, ta the team, the, sorry, the game for me can't get out of control. There's what we want. We don't want it to become, I know everyone loves it here, but we don't want it to become a basketball game too much. We need to keep it. We're winning the game. We don't want it to be end-to-end. -end. The pitch is extremely big here at Rizal. We need to settle the game when it needs to be and obviously speed up the tempo when we can. And we seem to have done that well in the, in the first part of the first half, second half. Another player from Nepal down. That was a foul on, on, on Sato earlier. And uh, the stoppage in the play as uh, Pujan Operkuti is getting some treatment. Askell's restart, De Morga. Here's Linares. Sandro Reyes. Ingreso. Correct. Goes back to Kevin. Carly. Ball just going away. Or a throw in for Nepal, but good idea there. Gayoso wins it back for the Philippines. Ot to Reyes. Sandro. Oh, flag stays down. Dato will intervene. And that's where we need to watch out on the counter-attack. You know, we've left ourselves slightly, well, very exposed there. You know, I think 3-1 and one, and Patrick's done extremely well to come out of his goal there and, and tidy up for us. Ball bouncing around. Nepal able to control. Nascos need to defend here. Koran looking to deal with this he does a danger not over for the Philippines cross into the area Dato again solid goalkeeping there from Patrick Dato yeah dominant in the air there took the cross extremely well dealt with the pressure underneath him and we're back on the ball and we're looking to, to, to play. You know, it's a great ball from Jesse there into, into to Mike's feet there. Getting a throw in high up into the field. Playing in the right areas. Now Jesse Curran. It's really taken a while for you know, Jesse Curran to settle into this side. We all know of his quality, Neil. Yeah, a very talented player. Very talented. I think, you know, he needs to, you know, he, he's, he's still, what I say, he's slightly inexperienced at this level at times. But he, you know, with, with, he's been utilised in different positions. We've played different formations under different coaches. You know, whether he's a wing back, left side of a three, you know, coach already today has played him at right wing back and right midfield. Um, so he needs to solidify his position, find out what's best for him. Oh, uh, what, what a ball again. It's a great ball. It's oh, great, great recovery. Ball. Reyes! Oh, what a chance there. As uh, Kira Limbo 
out of position. Ball bouncing quickly. Good recovery there for Mike Ott. Able to find Sandro Reyes with this opportunity. It's another great ball. We just spoke about him there. Uh, Jesse Curran with a nice chip ball in, into Mike Ott who gets it across. We're able to get a shot off. Maybe should have hit the target and tested the goalkeeper slightly there. But it's, uh, you know, we're, we're really impressing. You know, we're starting to put a press, pressure on the, on the pool team. But this is the transition that I'm talking about. And the pool have now got a five-man five, five man attack. And we don't want it to be a sloppy conceded goal, yeah. what I would say. You know, I don't feel like they've got much else to, to test us with, apart from a counter-attack or a mistake from us or a set piece. Um, it's not a team that's really going to thread passes through the middle and break us down. We need to be wary of that by not throwing too many people... Uh, too many players forward at the, at the wrong times and obviously solidifying in front of the back back four. Well, I've seen the Ascos concede a lot of goals on the counter. And, and, and it's usually against these type of teams. Yeah. They, 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 and Nepal looks like they do have some nip, quick nippy players up front right now and they, they've injected a bit of youth in that squad. Yeah, and I think it will be our lack of concentration, as Cow's lack of concentration, uh, and maybe uh, and something like that that will unravel us. Hopefully, it doesn't. You know, I think the quality that we've got on the field is is, is what I would say greater. But at the same time, you know, it only takes a moment uh, or a mistake to to concede, uh, as shown by our first goal. You know, to be honest. Yeah. Good interception there by Curran as he looks combined with uh, Harvey Gayoso. Unable to connect on that return ball. Now goes Sato. Oh, another call going against Sato. They've been having a, a nice battle and Anjan Vista and... Uh, Daisuke Sato. Yeah, slight tangling of legs. But at the same time, slightly uh, slightly unnecessary there from, from Sato to get so tight to him um, to give a, a needless free kick away, you know, in, in a dangerous position. Something that we've dealt with quite well so far, but it's obviously something that Nepal have definitely been practicing on their set pieces. Here's the delivery for Nepal. Oh, what a save. save. Dato with a reflex save near post. You gotta like that from Patrick Dato, but here's the transition for the Askels. Kenshiro Daniels turns on the Jets. Lovely touch. Players. Yeah, I think he tried to play it across. The right thing to do, to be honest. He tried to play it across. You've got OJ and Mike Ott in the middle, and um, they're both screaming for the ball. But I think they uh, can understand that Kenny was, uh, Kinshira Daniels was trying to put the ball across into the middle, and it just got intercepted. Mike Ott, another corner here for the Philippines. But it's all come from Patrick Dato's save. Yeah. Know, kept us into the game there. We talked about their. Their threat from set pieces is a great free kick. It's a great save. And then our transition was much better there. Ott with the delivery again. That's past the first man. And OJ Porteria skies the effort. we got to look at that Patrick Dato save again. And take a look at this new... It's a great save. It's a fantastic reaction save. Low as well. I don't think the striker could have, or defender could have done anything more. Couldn't have done any more and Patrick equal to it. Down low to his right at the near post. Free kick for Nepal. Wow. 
Sato. Good pressure by Porteria. Referee play says play on. Daniels driving forward. Finds OJ. Porteria trying to hit the target there. Effort is blocked. Nepal looking to counter. Great run from Kenshiro Daniels there. Down the wing. Getting the ball. Taking him on. It's what I want to see my strikers do. Take players on. Use his pace. Confident in his ability. As you can see here, great tackle there from OJ. Kenny taking him on with his pace, leaving the defender behind. With OJ getting the shot off as well after the turn. Another stoppage in the play here as they attend to Sanish Sretla. Five minutes gone by. Philippines 1 0, courtesy of a Harvey Gayoso goal. Minigishi Gio Pabualan Dylan De Broeker Stefan Schrock and, and Jack Spenya actually uh, warming up Ott he's done well today Mike Ott Neil yeah he has he's, he's, he's played well you know he spoke to him in the dressing room at half time I think he was disappointed that he didn't get on the ball as much, but I said to him, you need to start running in behind a little bit more to create your opportunities for yourself. And it shows there, the stats there, 14 shots now uh, compared to their five. They haven't really moved from the first half. Uh, for the second half, we've created a lot more opportunities. Sato, the defending there. Reyes gets it to Harvey Gayoso on the right. Harvey Great with ball. a cross. And this is what I talk about, ringing the box. Kevin's done that so well there in the second half. Rings the box. Nothing's able to get out. He's able to sweep up. And now can we look forward? Can we look forward to, to Fred Balls in between? You know, they're sitting very deep now. We need to find a little bit of magic, a little bit of football to, to, to open the door. And there they go. They're in a free kick here. And another yellow card. That's against... The substitute, Dipak Takuri. Again. So you have to win that, that second ball defense a bit unbalanced. Yeah, I think Kevin done Kevin Gresh has done that very well. You know, since he's been put into that midfield position now, he's locked the door, he's got onto the second balls, uh, from from balls into their box. He's, he's been able to thread balls past, make the right decisions. Um, and for me, you know, that's where if you don't have a player like that, you'll, you'll be looking at that counter-attacks against you. And here's the delivery. It's Carly Morga and uh, Ingresso. It's Mike Ott. Mike Ott oh, forces a save. Another great save, a deflection, I think, just off the wall. Ingresso with the delivery. Great ball. Reyes great ball. puts it back oh. in. And uh, Nepal desperately defending. They've done well there, Nepal. But the Philippines with another corner. Haskell's looking to pounce here. Against a weary Nepal side. Mike Ott drives it low. 
throw in for the Philippines. Pressure continues. Sato. Yes. Down goes Sato, and that's a free kick. He's very good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Getting fouled. <laughs> yes, he is. But this is another opportunity. I think the, the last corner was slightly wasted, hitting the, the front man. Can um, Mike or Sandro here have another opportunity? Look like it's going to be Sandro or Sato here. Put the ball into a dangerous era, area and let the, let the guys at the back uh, attack it. And, and it's a better angle as well. Reyes to deliver. Mm -hmm. That took a deflection. And Sato trying to flick that one on. OJ deals with this. He does. OJ, of all people, deals with that very, very well. But we were 2-2 two two at the back there, you know? And I think, you know, I think Coach will look at that after the game and it'd be, why have we not got the spare man? Yeah. And again, you know, we're, 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 we're gearing up for tougher opponents. We're, we're playing... You know, we're, we're, you know, we play what's in front of us, but... 100%. Uh, you can only play what's in front of you. Um, it looks like a big sub's about to be happening now. Well, someone is unretiring. <laughs> someone is unretiring tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't get the memo, Neil. I had the memo. You, you got it? Question. Yeah. I, I, I've been so out of it. <laughs> I've, been, I've been out of the loop for a while but like I said you know there's 20 minutes to go now by the time you know he gets on hopefully he comes on 15 20 minutes you know I'm not saying that he can't last 90 he probably can but the quality he's got he can definitely show within that 15 20 minutes and also he's a leader off the field he's a leader on the field and he can definitely do that and, and unfortunately Kenshiro's Daniels has, has gone down it looks like he's gonna come off yeah, and Jesper Nihom as well is getting ready to come in. I spoke to Jesper yesterday. I was so excited to play in front of the home crowd. And there he is. Number 17 is back. That retirement was short-lived, Neil. It was very short-lived. That was short-lived. That's That lasted zero games. <laughs> zero matches. <laughs> But no, glad. two matches. Two, two, ma matches. two matches. It's, sorry. It's lasted two matches, but I think everyone's happy. You can hear the crowd. You can hear everyone now. He's happy, and you can already see on the field now. He's dictating what he wants, what he needs from people around him, and he's a leader. So the changes are taking effect here. It looks like Sato is... It's Shrocky in for Kenshiro Daniels. And Jesper Nihom on for Carly De Morga. So just a like for like substitution here for the Philippines. Yeah, I think, you know, Carly's been experienced. He's played a lot of, lot of games. Um, he's, you know, he's played in that position many, many times. Um, this will be interesting now, you know, two, two new centre-halves playing with each other, two centre-backs that haven't played with each other, they need to feed each other out, they need to get used to each other. Um, so, yeah, let's see how they do now. And, and, and these are young uh, centre-backs here, although, you know, you can say that Jesper is young, but he is very experienced, played in the, the top flight of Sweden, has dealt with injuries over the past few years, and... Uh, Played the last couple of years in Thailand. Yes. With new partnerships, they need to grow. You know, new yeah. partnerships and, and centre-half partnerships, who they're going to play with, uh, natural positions. Yeah. It takes time. You know, the best Azkau's defensive lines that I've played with over the many years, they've had time to bond together and to gel together. Yeah, and, and, and it took a while. Yes. Really. To play... Uh, you know, play ever so well together. You, you know, we were so used to that the Rob Gear Ali Borromeo partnership a decade ago. There were times when it was a Wani Girado and Rob Gear partnership. There was a time when it was a Jerry Lucena 
Rub Gear Partnership. And, uh, I think I've even played at the back with Paul Mulders. Before. Yeah, Paul, <laughs> Paul Mulders? Yeah, I've never played at the back. I'm the coach <laughs> vice as well. Yeah, he, he played left back at, at yeah, one point. But we were very fortunate at that time to have the, the players in midfield that we had a great take there from Patrick Dato. And he can set off an attack here. One of their players has gone down, and so we are no, no. going to be... Yeah, it's a friendly in here. It's a friendly, come on. I'm a winning person, you know <laughs> okay. that. You've known okay. me for too long. You've known me for too long. <laughs> I uh, knew it. <laughs> win at, I would say win at all costs, win at most costs. Yes, yes, yes. I, I do understand that competitive nature coming in. Um, but yeah, like we were saying, time. You know, we had a very strong midfield in that time. Many, many names we thrown about, and you know, Paul Mulders was able. He was six foot two, six foot three, built very well, and he could play at the back. You know, he was good with his feet. He'd win his headers, um, and he adapted as he got older. You know, I think he still played for the national team until yeah. he was thirty six, thirty seven years yeah, old. He, he was he was very reliable, and but he was I, I believe he was at his best at the number ten position though. Yeah, and, and this is what I was talking about at the start of the game. Players being versatile, players being able to adapt to certain different positions when, in all honesty, we don't have the the depth of the squad that most people would like, to be honest. Players will need to play out of position or players will need to adapt their position. You know, you look at players like who are not here, Patrick Strauss, for example, you yeah. know, maybe naturally a right back but plays in midfield for us for the Azcals plays very well in midfield um, Garrett, Holt, uh, Garrett Holtman is going to play anywhere else if well, he, anywhere to. along that top line <laughs> yeah yeah, and even you know Stefan Schrock to a certain degree you know I mean Kate, you know, played in the Bundesliga as a right back and came here as a number 10 as a midfielder and dictated play very very well when he did so actually played uh, right back in the Asian Cup uh, dictated play from there Ingresso will win this back. Sato. You can see that Nepal now are starting to put a little bit more pressure on our defensive line. And calls like that will absolutely kill them. But now we need to attack and move forward like we are. Great turn from Sandro. Misplaced pass, but the right idea. Yeah. You know, we need to break those lines. They're starting to put a little bit more pressure to, to see if we're going to make mistakes at the back. And as long as we can keep threading the balls through the lines, finding the pass, we'll be able to make a good transition. Linares. Reyes. It's a good ball. Looking for the ball for Galloso. OJ a bit isolated. Try to keep possession for the Philippines. Here comes Jesse Curran. Finds Ingresso. Nasco's looking to see this game out. Yeah, it's a friendly, like you said. I'd like us to put a little bit more tempo going forward in the last 15 minutes. I know, you know, we don't want to be sitting on a 1 0, to be honest. I know it'd be great to get the, the win. I think we all will all be extremely happy and delighted with that. But just to keep a momentum like you said depending on how much is left in the tank how much is in the legs can we get another one can we put a little bit more pressure on them and this is a great very idea there. unlucky ball that is but Mike Ott doing well here but it's a great run from, run from Stefan Schrock and it's a, it's a he's, and then Mike has seen the ball he's seen the pass yeah. unable to execute it but those are the sort of things that I want to see I mean if that ball gets through you know Stefan is, is a one on one you know OJ backing it up as well those are the sort of things that I want to see moving forward and a bit more of an attacking threat yeah. you know I feel that has been what we've lacked over the last maybe 12 months uh, be able to create opportunities you know defensively at times we've been solid made it made our own mistakes and, and conceded some goals but we haven't had the attacking threat and I think it's something that coach and I have spoken about uh, when he came in we had a meeting and it's something that we want we want uh, to create an excitement once yep. again for the Philippine supporters you know yep. to, to come watch a game for us to score goals mm. Bit of a scrum here. A little bit of handbags. And it's something here where the Azcals need to keep their heads. They need to walk away from the situation. Obviously, Nepal are frustrated. 
They're 1-0 down, 10 minutes to go. We need to keep our heads here, these will keep our cool. It's Alexander Reyes. The referee from Thailand, Warrington Sasadi. Restoring order. They've been having a battle there. Sato is also going to get booked. I think that was always coming, wasn't it? Yeah. Jesper Nihon to take the free kick. Looking for Harvey Gayoso. Gayoso wins the header. Too close to the goalkeeper. Slightly deep there for us, I think. Rocky wins it back. Foul though on uh, Sandro Reyes. I'd like for us to learn from our mistakes a little bit. Um, the last chance that they had was from a very similar position. Yeah. So I'd like us to defend this this better, getting the first head in it, first contact. Yes, for Nihol right there. Let's see how they deal with this. Almost from a similar position as the chance from Nepal earlier. Here's the delivery into the area. And Ingresso with a clearance. Schrock putting some pressure here. Nihom, defensive header. Rohit Chant. Nihom again with the intervention. And that ball goes back to Patrick Dato. Sato. Ingresso. Again, pressure here. That's where <laughs> Kevin Ingresso is good at, you know, expecting the pressure, getting the foul. Yeah, we're definitely looking to slow the game down with 10 minutes to go. I think we can up the tempo a little bit more. We're getting a little bit sloppy now, as that pass was shown. Um, Kevin probably tiring. Uh, they're starting to, to grow into the game a little bit more. They're starting to put a little bit more pressure on us. Uh, but chances and opportunities like this when we need to move the ball forward is something, you know, that I would like to see in this friendly. They're definitely starting to set traps a little bit. You can see there's four and four at the back now. But when we get passes like that out, we're out. Yeah. You know, now we need to look forward. Diagonal ball again. Can we look forward? Can we get an attack going? Uh, looking for the return ball was uh, Jesse Curran. Is it corner? No, he's kept it in. Done well. Nepal. Game opening up here. But again, Askel's able to get into their shape. Sato. Another. No whistle there, just a throw in. Ingresso. Porteria. Gayoso. That's it to Jesse Curran. Nihon. Shocky. Lovely move there. And Stefan Schrock wants the ball back again. Difficult ball for it's Kiki Linares to deal with. Yeah, it's, can, it's small things like that. And you can see Coach there on the sideline. He's, he's not happy with it. Um, it's mistakes, um, lack of concentration like that, that can ultimately cost us. You yeah. know? And, and we have done that a little bit in the last five to seven minutes um, 
which I would like to cut out. I don't mind making mistakes and misplaced passes further away from our goal. Yeah. But when it's uh, in the 18-yard box or in, in their final third. And that's an opportunity for Nepal. Bimal Magar. With a shot that's straight at Patrick Dayton. No power there on the shot. Starting to open up now. I think the, the distances between the str our strikers and, and then our defenders is, is slightly too much. You know, there's obviously tired legs, tired minds out there, but we we definitely need to improve in that. To yeah. Honest, you know? And and this is why we have friendlies like this. Yes. Just to you know make sure that uh, you know, we do have opportunities to. We have room for some mistakes as well. Nihon, great header out. Shocky. Lovely play there from Stefan Schrock. And those are the types of skills that you miss. Because there's there's really no one else who can, you know, He's have like, that trickery in this team. He's a flair player. You know, and he has been, he's been able to create many opportunities, goals, assists over the many years. And he gives you that little bit more, a little bit of excitement, shall we say. Yeah. A little bit of excitement maybe that we've missed over since, since he's retired, unretired. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that he unretired after six months. <laughs> it's just that I, I, I know that he likes to keep himself in, in really good shape. But I wasn't really taking it seriously. All those in Instagram posts, I, that's the usual things I see. But, you know, coming back to play, maybe Coach, uh, Coach Vice had a hand in this decision. Yeah, I think, you know, there's a conversation a few have gone on. And, you know, as you can see, he's still very comfortable on the ball. You don't lose it. He's comfortable in possession. He's able to do certain things that he was able to before. Um... And here he is, Ingresso looking for Schrocki. That's a goal kick. The pool is starting to up the tempo a little bit now. You can see they're starting to play out the back a little bit quicker. Seeing if they can nick a late equaliser. And what we need to do is, is, is to keep higher. I think we're dropping a little bit too deep. The, the spaces now, as you can see, they are slightly too big for me. No, they're, they're overloading three against one there. Yeah. Can we keep a higher line? Can we compress the field a little bit more? Not let them do what we did to them at the start of this half and yeah. find the pocket. It, it, it looks like we are getting stretched a bit. You know, although. Let's see if the. Askels can see out this game. Reyes. That pass was just too good for Michael. <laughs> Was going a bit of miscommunication there from uh, the two midfielders. And he also committing the foul. That's a yellow card. Been a, it's been a stop-start second half here. It's uh, and you have uh, two teams just looking to sharpen themselves up for more important games ahead. Dato with another big stop. It's another save, and it's come from another set piece. Yeah, and Nihom totally missing the header there. It's something that really, you know, I think coach is going to look look into. Another header. 
It's another free header. Once the strength of uh, past Askell's teams, the solidity at the back. Askell's looking uh, a bit exposed there. And then a lot goes into those set piece defending communication just being uh, proactive and uh, you know just taking responsibility you know everyone has has their own tasks in those uh, set pieces Neil yeah I think that you know players will take responsibility for their, their man that they're marking but for the last three set pieces we've been second best to them uh, two very good saves there for, from Patrick Dato and let off slightly of the last corner. Approaching uh, the end of uh, normal time here. Ingreso gets it to Linares. Schrocki loses out. No whistle. Just a uh, throw in. So five more minutes for uh, this friendly between the Philippines and Nepal. And plenty of time to get a second goal if you're the Philippines and an equalizer if you're in Nepal. You can see there, look, three on three at the back. Philippines need to be careful. That's true, Neil. And current you've I feel like there's some tired legs and tired minds out there going into the last 10 minutes. It's not something that I would like to see defensively three on three at the back. Yeah. Um, and also losing out in the header was Jesse Curran. He's actually looking at the ball. Yaskas do have one more friendly. That's on the 19th on Tuesday. We expect uh, my partner here, Neil Etheridge, to be uh, back to his normal uh, position there for that match. Let's see if uh, Neil will confirm after this uh, coverage. <laughs> we'll see. But no, I think, uh, but I know, do love love it. You love that you're being here. Yeah, about to say you don't. Like <laughs> you're enjoying. You're enjoying. I'm enjoying <laughs> it. I'm enjoying it. It's, it's, it's nice to see this from a, a different point of view. Uh, I went down at half time because you see different things from up here than you do when you're you're playing on the field. Yeah, I had a few true. words with a few different players, um, which I felt like we took on board going into the second half. Started it very lively. Um, and as the game has gone on, as you can see, maybe tired minds, tired legs, we've slightly come away from that. So Mike so Ott. Nepal doing well defensively there. Bimal Pandey tracking back. And big gaps there on the field now. As we head late into this match this is where I'd like her just to compress the game a little bit more you can't really see it on your screen right now I feel that as cows are just sitting a little bit too deep expecting the long ball it is coming and OJ Porteria now playing up front has worked tirelessly in this match let's see if he can get another opportunity here OJ Sato in support. He'll get there, Daisuke Sato. OJ. Linares. Gayoso keeps it in play for Curran. He's done very well. 
got his goal, he's done well, he's stretched the play. Been very, very impressed. And he's coming off a, a championship winning season with Kaya FC Iloilo in the Philippines Football League. Props to Kaya for winning their uh, first ever league uh, title. Management led by uh, Paul Tolentino and Jing Hamla, the ownership, Santi Araneta. Niho. Ingreso. Ortega. OJ. What a game so far from OJ Porteria. And you know, he, he, he's looked sharp just because he's been playing regularly in Malaysia. 100%. I couldn't agree with you more. You know, he's been playing the last couple of games in Malaysia. He's played maybe the last uh, six, seven games. He's done really, really well over there. He's, he's, um, he's confident. You know, I speak to him quite often. He, he scored actually recently just before he came here. So the confidence is high. He's got a few assists. So, you know, fair play to him. And you can see his fitness levels are, are, are high. He's running everywhere. He's putting himself around. And, um, you know, it shows when the player's playing week in, week out at a good level, like in Malaysia or some of the boys in Thailand, then it's, it, you can tell a big, big difference. Yeah. Proteria. Shocky. Lovely touch. Kuran in support. Jesse. He's looking for Gayoso. Gotta be careful here. Good tackle, oh, good tackle there, good Sandro tackle. Reyes. Reyes. Gonna push this ball to the side. Trying to escape. That's a goal kick. And precious seconds. Passing by as uh, it looks like the Philippines will get this win. And they do. A victorious start for the second spell of Coach Michael Weiss. The Askels, 1-0 winners at home at Rizal Memorial Stadium. Harvey Gayoso with the goal, but they needed the heroics of Patrick Dato. He is our man of the match, Patrick Dato, an outstanding performance on goal as the Askels end their losing streak and uh, a fresh start for the Philippine men's national team. Neil, just talk about that performance from uh, our team. I thought it was good in spells. You know, if I've been honest, I think, um, you know, it's tough. It's after, uh, a June international when the players have been playing so many games at the end of the season, it's always going to be hard. The heat, everything like that. But no excuses. We come away with a win today. We have to be happy. Uh, I want more from our teams. Uh, that's because I'm so demanding and so wanting and willing for us to do better. Uh, we have to understand the opponent, but like we said, that you can only beat what's in front of you. Patrick Dato, well-deserved man of the match, played extremely, extremely well, kept us in the game at vital points, uh, and obviously happy for those to get the goal uh, and for us to win 1-0. So full-time here at the Rizal Memorial Stadium, 1-0 Philippines with the win, giving coach... Michael Weiss, his uh, first win in his second go-around with the Philippines. That's the goal. Harvey Gayoso, scrappy goal. But we'll take it. We'll take it. <laughs> Any day of the week. But, <laughs> but this was the type of performance that, you know, it wasn't the best. But, you know, you needed to grind this one out. Just because, you know, players are coming off season. It's, it, it, it's just, a, you know, a tough time as well for the team and, and, and needing... Some confidence. sort of a, a confidence because of the you know past results. Yeah, confidence definitely. After the run of results that we've been on, like we so showed at the start of this show, um, it's not been the best. And, and you know, regardless of the opposition, regardless of what people think, we've come away here with a victory. Scrappy goal doesn't matter. We win the game. Gives the boys confidence going into the next stage. And this is not. Uh, this is going to be a process now. It's a process that we we need to come on this journey once again. We've got obviously big games coming up towards the end of the end of the year. Uh, and it's going to take time. This can't happen overnight. You know, the chops and changes have happened. Hopefully we start getting a more settled squad now. Um, and, and the win's fantastic. I'm very, very happy for, the, for everyone involved. And, and it's the squad, the team can only get stronger uh, as they play together more, as more additions come together. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. It's so glad we could have Neil Etheridge share his insights on our national team. His 
national team, his team as well. But we do hope we'll see you on the field very soon, Neil. Uh, I know you're just taking a break, enjoying uh, this time off from football. It's been a long season for you, but nonetheless, thank you so much for uh, joining me here in the commentary. For my uh, partner, Neil Etheridge, just you know, as we leave you with the stats from this match, uh, 17 shots, 70-30 in possession, but just a, a, a professional, a business-like performance from the team. Not playing well, performance was not the best, but nonetheless, we get the result. One nail at the Rizal Memorial Stadium for the Philippines. For my partner, Neil Etheridge, this is Sidel Tupa saying goodnight from Rizal Memorial Stadium. Thank you, everyone.